Hello friends, welcome to C sharp space. Today in this video session, we will discuss about how to bind a crystal report using data sets in C sharp. So let's start. We open our Visual Studio and creating here a Windows project. So click on new project. Here we choose a new web form application, Windows form applications. Here we rename it like a crystal report data sets. Here we choose our path. and then click to ok button now it's uh, creating a windows applications here we uh, create a sim simple crystal reports and uh, bind that uh, crystal report with the help of data sets Now project is created. So here we take a one button for loading a crystal report. Here I rename it. So so report ok now we need to add a one more form where uh, we display a crystal report so I have to add a one more windows forms Here we select this windows form so I rename it is like a FRM report then click to add button here we drag and drop a crystal report viewer we go to the direct reporting section so this reporting and here we drag and drop a crystal report viewer Now this uh, report is added. Now, now we need to connect uh, one database. Uh, so by which we cre create a table formats on the that report. So I al already create a database for this. So we go to our server explorer and here I take a one database for testing this for like a test TB and here uh, I contain a TBL employees the table names that contain a uh, multiple columns like employee name city state country and department so first of all we get their connection strings and we create a their database connections we go to their code file here we take like a SQL connection SQL connection it's not contain using 
system dot data dot configurations using system dot data dot SQL client Okay, now we check their connection string equal to new. Here we paste a connect string. Or we can add this connect string in our app, app configs file. So we take it here. Go to here and add a connection string object configuration Let's add then write it here a name for con so connection string and this is the provider name system dot data dot sql client now we connect this uh, connection string with our cs code configuration manager this not contain a console manager Here we write a configuration manager dot connect string. Here we write their name, it's a con dot connection string. Now we create a phone functions for uh, loading a crystal report public right band report. Here we take a SQL command it's equal to new SQL command here we need to write uh, one more procedures for uh, getting all the records from this employee table so uh, we need to add uh, one more procedures for this create proc sp employee get as as begin and select select store from TVL employee Now we run this. Now we copy their procedure name and go to here and write the procedure name. Here we pass their connection string. It's a com dot command type equal to command type dot store procedure now we take a data set 
Firstly, we take a data adapter, SQL data adapter, DH equal to new SQL data adapter, and here we pass a SQL command object. We take a is equal to new data set. Now we fill this data set. da dot fill ts and here we write here table name our table name is a tbl employee now we take a data set files dot asset dot xsd files we edit now we drag and drop these tables to our data set area now it's creating a uh, structures for this tbl employee table now to now go to our CS code and uh, need to create a crystal report add one crystal report for this so we name it it's a RP, RPT employee It's adding a RPT file to our project. Now here we take a as a blank report. Click to OK. Now we go to our database fields here click on database export here we choose our data sets file it's, uh, this is the data set tbl employee we select it and uh, click select it and click on ok now it's uh, exporting all their columns now we add these columns to our crystal report Now we I resize their lens. We can resize it. So then we drag and drop these files. So serial name, serial number. It's a employee name. It's a city. Then state. And we need to add a country and then their department. We resize these country names and then we need to add their department. This is a sample question report, so you can you can uh, design according to your needs as you like this is a report header we can add uh, any text for that always showing on the top of the report like i, I add a one text for here it's 
से इम्प्लॉय रिपोर्ट वी कैन बोल्ड इट एंड वी कैन इंक्रीज दर साइज Now we save it. Now we go to our CS code. Here we call that uh, crystal report or PT employee equal to or PT is equal to new or PT employee. Then or PT dot set data source. Equal to it's a DS. We add that uh, data set as a data source for this uh, or PD is filed crystal report file. Now we load this FRM report FRM is equal to new and then FRM dot crystal report viewer. Not container. We check it. This not showing here. Registered port. So I think we need to change their modifiers because by default the uh, by default that is the private. So we go to our report and check their properties. So here we need to check it. Their modifier that modifier is private. So we need to check it as uh, like internal or uh, public. So here we select public. Save it. Now we go to here and find their test report. Dot report source is equal to or PT. Then FRM. Dot so dialog. We open this page as a dialog. Now we call this function on the click of this button. So bind report. Now we run this project. We click on a start button. Now it's a loading form, so click to here or so report. Now it's a loading a crystal report files. This showing all the reports from a table employee tables. That that is all the columns like a serial numbers, employee tables, city, state, country, and their department. So. That is all for how to bind the crystal reports using data sets file. So, if you have any problem, any confusions, please write in comment box. I will reply you soon. If you like my videos, please click on subscribe buttons and click on a notification bell for next video updates. So, thanks, thanks for watching. We will meet in next video session.